Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World for episode 9 of Ischia Farm. Welcome back to Italy. So I've just been out being a proverbial farm manager, checking our fields now. I told you there was a lot of work to get done and I know the last episode was very long and we didn't see hardly any of what really needed to be done and adding this great field only added to that. Now that little fib that I was pretending to tell Mrs. Van Horn about this field not producing well, well that's pretty true. Um, it needed lime, it needed two applications of fertilizer, it had none of that so I expect to see a lot more grapes the next time we harvest, which shouldn't be too long. And that's been taken care of so this field is up and running and good to go now. All squared away. And remember what I said about this alfalfa that I thought it was going to regrow. My prediction was that it would regrow. Well, look at that. I threw another application of fertilizer on this bad boy and it's regrowing. Outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Now even though we've got a good chunk of money in the bank and it's only been, it's been less than 12 hours. I've been getting a lot of work done. Pretty much work through the night. Some good fertilizer contracts came available this morning, so I've already got a helper out in the field taking care of those. I'll be moving that tractor around here and there and everywhere to get those fertilizer contracts in, which should net us another forty or fifty thousand dollars. Because frankly, I'm spending money today. I'm going to spend it before the Van Horns have an opportunity to <laughs> to uh, discover exactly how much money we made on the farm yesterday and get their grubby little hands on it. <laughs> okay, technically it's really their money. I understand that, but they brought me in to do a job. They made my job harder, and now I have to do what I have to do to get my job done. Now, down here in uh, one of our newest fields, you'll notice that, well, I have this laid out to uh, get ready for our pigs, which are coming today. And I also reprep this field and have it planted with canola because, frankly, oil seed is one of the things that I have a shortage of when it comes to making pig food. Now, if we take a quick look at our pig food maker, we can see that it's full. It'll only hold 90,000 liters. It is maxed out, but I'm short on ingredients. I even did a couple small contracts. That was all that was available last night to bring in a little more canola and a little more oats to get thrown in there but that's where we stand at the moment on the pig food. Now I could empty this and have it continue to work and just store the pig food in our silo, but there's no point in that because I don't have anything right now to refill it with. There's nothing in the silo to make more pig food with, which I need to get corrected. And that's part of the reason for the canola over here. With all of that said, it's time for piggies. <laughs> the goal is coming to fruition. We are getting our piggies today. And if I go and look at my animal pen options, I already know which one I'm going to buy now. The Van Horn specifically said this has to be a nice pen. It can't be some grungy thing. It has to be very humane. And I figured this modern pig barn right here that'll hold 300 pigs will do us nicely. So with that said, that's the direction I'm going. And it's only $120,000, which I can't complain about. That's not bad at all. Now I don't want to get too close to my field. I don't want to uh, choke it off completely, but I also don't want to, um, I just kind of want to set her up, I guess is the point I'm trying to make. And I don't care about the back end because I don't need any access there. So let's try that, shall we? And lo and behold, right in front of us, we have a lovely pig barn. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Very nice. And yeah, you can see there's nothing back here except some ventilation. So we are fine in that regard. 
Let's take a look inside, shall we? Now, in this door, it looks like we have got pig food. This is our pig feeder right here. Super Feed 2000. It's the Super Feed 2000. Big quality lizard pig food distributor. Because <laughs> if you can see, there's some green piping. The green piping takes the food from this thing and delivers it to the piggy feed troughs. Okay. And then if we open this door, this is a partial. It's only a half door, but it has swinging gates. Now, the reason it's got these swinging gates is so that when you want to enter here, the pigs can't get out. So we can go right in here and have access to our pigs. These are the food troughs here, which are automatically filled through these green pipes, as I was explaining. Let's go ahead and get that open back up. There we go. Whew. And this is where we would put our piggy bedding. This is where we put in our straw. And we can run this all the way back cordon off our pigs wherever we need to and then our manure is going to collect right in this area too so this is where we'll need to clean up after these pigs and right here is a slurry collection point so any liquid waste these piggies are producing will get collected right here and this is our water fill point which is very handy and dandy and i've got a couple of valves here that i need to install and I do that by hitting R as I stand in front of them. And there's two different pieces. One is a valve that you turn. If you've never used animal pen extension before, I can't recommend it enough. It's, it's a great, great mod. So if I, play, if I place my valve right there, now I've got this water spigot that... Uh, I can turn, I can raise it, I can lower it, I can do whatever I want with it. Which is handy because what I want to do with it is make it look like it's feeding right into this valve here. And I can make that happen just by moving it around just a smidge here and there. And I can actually raise this up just a little bit. Let's try to zoom in on it a little bit better. Oh, that's pretty good. I think that looks good looks just like it's feeding right into that water line and I confirm and those pieces are locked in place look at that it actually looks like that that valve is uh, built part of that blue pipe so that's pretty darn handy okay let me go take care of my fertilizer guy and I will be back in a second Okay, got him squared away, and as you can see, well, it's time to uh, get our piggy palace working for us. Absolutely. So one thing I know we're going to need is some straw. We always have to have straw because, well, piggies produce manure, and uh, it needs straw to help it clump up for lack of a better word I've got 69,000 liters probably going to need quite a bit more but that's neither here nor there straw is not hard to make all we need is some wheat or barley or oats and we'll have plenty of straw and I need to be thinking about pigs what are we going to do for pigs well I mean I know what we're going to do for pigs we're going to buy some pigs but I've been thinking about piggy transport because frankly making money on pigs is all about breeding. You buy pigs, you breed them, and then you sell off whatever pigs get bred. And we're not talking about a small number of pigs here. We're talking large quantities. I mean, we have a farm that needs to produce a significant amount of pigs because we need to pay off that $2 million. That's what's left on the loan, $2 million. So, with that said, to get any kind of transport for pigs, it's going to haul a significant amount. 
would cost me about two hundred thousand dollars that's what I have discovered and as I will show you if we go to our animal dialog box it costs a hundred dollars to move a pig so if I move a hundred pigs that's gonna cost me ten thousand dollars well I can do that 20 times for the cost of a truck and trailer so I think for now unless I just have a big surplus of money I'm just gonna have these guys delivered and I like the white pigs with the black spots on them so that's what we're going with and we're gonna start with a hundred I'm gonna start with a hundred I'm gonna breed them up to 150 and then anything over 150 we're gonna start selling off every day to bring in money to pay off the loan we're gonna call it the pig loan <laughs> So there we go, 150,000 for 150 or 100 new pigs minus 10,000. We're in for 160 on the pigs. I'm gonna, oh, huh. move that one back. Confirm. And now, if we look, we've got our lovely little piggies. Now, why did I stick with all the same kind? Well, with a lot of livestock, if you change up their colors, they don't breed properly which seems a little bit weird but at the same time also makes a little bit of sense I don't know um, I know with cattle and I've seen this before where you have to have the same type of cattle for them to fully fully breed so that's where we're at with that okay so we've got plenty of straw we're obviously topped off on straw otherwise it would have emptied out this trailer which it did not and while i'm here i will get them some water because our valve should start working now there we go now it's got a little bit of a leak but nothing we can't live with and if we look at our piggies yep we are full of straw and we've got a water filling up right now and now it's time to grab some pig food. Now I've got 90,000 liters and frankly, I don't think that's nearly enough. So that's a problem I've got to solve too. I know I, I started pig food early just to make sure, just to make sure that uh, I had a good jump on it and a good jump on that light pole right there. <laughs> but clearly I didn't have enough of a jump on it. Although, to be fair, I've been a little bit limited by, um, grapes. <laughs> I've, been, I've been focused on those grapes, sometimes of my own accord, and sometimes because, well, certain people feel the need to, uh, never mind. We're not going there anymore. Okay, let's jump back down and feed up these piggies. Now, one thing that I know I'm going to need is a bucket for my telehandler. And the telehandler will probably just get moved down to the lower field because I'm going to need that pretty much every day to clean up pig poop. I need a pooper, a big, big, big pooper scooper. <laughs> and so I need a bucket from a telehandler, so I've got a pooper scooper from my piggy palace. Say that three times fast. Okay, well this thing takes quite some time to fill, so I'll see you in just a minute or two. So this thing takes a long time to uh, load. It's the, the pig food mixer does not pour quickly. So I've already loaded in, or I've already given the pigs one trailer load of food. And sorry uh, sunflowers, I'll try not to crush you too badly. Although I make no promises. <laughs> but um, yeah, I loaded one one trailer already, and this is going to be the second. And then we'll take a look at our pigs and see where they stand. Can't see. There we go. And yeah, as you can see, pig food going right into the pig food distributor distributing system. The 
what was that? Super Feed 2000. So that's 84,000 liters of pig food that we have given them at this point. And oh, there we go, pigs. And we're still a little bit in trouble here. A little bit low on the whole piggy production. So I need to find a way to get more pig food. Now I might just have to suck it up a little bit. And uh, buy some to get us, you know, get us over the hump. We'll see. But look at our productivity, 99%. We're going to have an animal in an hour and 15 minutes. We'll already have one pig in just an hour. And we've already got some manure and we've got some slurry building up. And you can actually see over here this little manure pile. So I'm going to need to get that bucket sooner rather than later. It'll wait just a little while. But uh, yeah, that bucket is going to be important. Now I still have $468,000. I've still got money coming in off of fertilizer contracts right now so what am I gonna do well I'll tell you what I'm gonna do because I told you when I started this I needed to spend this money before the Van Horns found out that I have it <laughs> and I also need to get my pig food production on the make so I need more more land that's the bottom line now I don't know what it is about this area over here by the port but We've got wheat, we've got potatoes, which is good, more root crops for us, and more wheat will help us. And I've got two fields that are open right here, and if I look at the price on those, that's almost, that's nine and a half acres, almost 10 acres for $115,000. And again, I will merge that into one big field, but for now, I'll keep it separate and just get it working for us. So I'm buying that. Done. Now, if I look here right next to us, this is 10, 11, 12, and 13. I've got canola. I can use it. I've got sugar beets. I can use that. I've got barley. I can use that. I've got oats. I can use that. Now, this isn't quite the bargain basement price, but per acre wise, for the, land, the, the lands down in here, that's not too shabby. That's not shabby at all. So I'm buying that too. This farm is expanding in a big, big way. Now this is all going to get merged into one field also. I don't do small fields. <laughs> Those little tiny fields, you can have them. I work big. I like to work big. But um, yeah, that that's going to set us up pretty nicely. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Van Horn. I thought it was Mrs. Van Horn. Uh, she spent the night in Naples so that she could have a spa day with her friends today. I see. Good. I'm glad she's there. I mean, I hope she has a lovely time. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Van Horn wants me to get rid of the purple field because she thinks that purple makes you seem presumptuous and regal. Okay, that's the alfalfa field. I'm sure that's what she's talking about. Yeah, next close to the winery. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what does she recommend? She likes sunflowers. We don't have the equipment for sunflowers. It's going to take some time to uh, come up with the money to make that happen. Oh, I, I can manage it. It's just going to take some time. Don't expect it tomorrow. And I've got a lot of work to get done on this farm, and I can't get much done in this rain. I've got a lot of harvesting I need to do, and I can't harvest in the rain. It will screw up the equipment. The only thing I can do is white grapes today. 
I've got a whole field ready, and we can harvest those, but everything else has to wait. You need some almonds. And you need some olives. Well, I'm pretty sure I can make the olives happen. I've, I've been working on a plan anyway, and... Well, there's an old olive grove on the property that's just been sitting, looks dormant, not dead, but dormant, so I might be able to get that running. Otherwise, the almonds are going to take a few days. Um, I do have a field that I could get those planted in, but again, they're not going to grow quickly. It's going to take a few days for them to come in, so I hope that's not a problem. Okay, you don't need many, just enough to serve your guests at wine tastings. Got it. Same with the olives. Got it. Okay. All right. Well, I hope Mrs. Van Horn has a long, lovely vacation in Naples. All right. Bye. Oh. Good God, what are the Van Horn... Mrs. Van Horn. <laughs> Mrs. Van Horn. Well, you heard it. No more alfalfa, and I have to come up with a way to plant some sunflowers. Well... Since we don't own a planter for sunflowers, which is no big surprise... And I don't have any way to harvest those sunflowers. That means new equipment. And I don't have the money for that new equipment. So hopefully... And I've got so many fields that need to be harvested today. I've got wheat. I've got, I think, some oats that need to be harvested. I've got potatoes that need to be harvested. Luckily, the grape harvesters will run in the rain. So at least our fresh new batch of white grapes can get done today. And our alfalfa field, which is far too regal to send the image <laughs> of a... Uh, uh, never mind. Never mind. I had high hopes for alfalfa. Too high of hopes, apparently. All right, where are we at? Uh, field 26, grapes, there we go. All right, well, there's one. Oh, and we need to check in our pigs. Let me get this other grape harvester working first. We'll check in on our pigs. And then I'm kind of of the opinion that uh, there's not much else that can be done today. At least until the rain stops. It started in early yesterday and it hasn't let up a bit. Now I did get some new, I did get some work done on the new fields. I got fertilizing done and I did expand what is now field 21. I merged some of it, got it limed up, and everything that was on those two fields, that wheat and those potatoes, both are ready to come off. It's just a matter of, well, getting it off. So, we'll, we'll, we'll end up seeing what happens, I suppose. Oh, come on, grape harvester, work with me today. Grapes 26. Alright. Let's check our pigs, shall we? We've got lots of manure piling up, and I, I did want to let you know, um, I misspoke a little bit yesterday. This is just going to be a manure catch area. The cleaning doesn't really happen here. It happens over here in the food trough area. 
Always when you're dealing with something new, it's a little bit different. But you see the food has spilled out onto the ground here, and I need to clean that up. Keep these piggies clean so they keep producing. But it is supplying a nice bit of manure, so that's a very good thing. And then let's look at our menu. Uh, 15 pigs already. These guys are cranking it out. Outstanding. We've got 15 brand new pigs. So, effectively, they've made us $15,000. And that is a beautiful thing, let me tell you. Alright, I'm going to run over to our newest field. Now, there's nothing special about the fields down here. They're just growing, like we discussed yesterday. Just going to do a brief check-in over here. Oh, and I need to pick up some a new piece of equipment for this pickup truck, actually, because I've got a plan to get them olives, and I can do that right away. And yes, I'm doing this the wrong way. Here's our red grape field here on our right, and you can see they're really starting to grow up. That is outstanding, but here's that wheat field I was telling you about. This is part of our new section down here by the port. If I swing in over here, we've got our potatoes growing here on the left. And I've got these two sections down here. And I want to get this all harvested so I can merge it all into one field. This is all prepped and ready to go. And then I did bring the, the plow down and I expanded over here along this edge. For better or worse. I'm awfully close to the seawall there, but I'll deal with that. It's no big deal. But yeah, I pushed all the way down into this corner. So probably got another good, at least another good acre out of this area. So that's got us set up pretty darn nicely. Oh, this is a uh, this is pretty muddy here today. Now, as far as the olives go, I'm gonna need a trailer to haul some of that manure, and I, what I also need is something to haul some water with. And I think I've got that sorted out. So I might as well stop at the shop right here. Oh, and I believe I have solved the piggy transport problem also. Let's take a look and see what we've got. Now there's a local trailer manufacturer that um, should do me up really nice. Called BC, Beachy, these guys right here. Nice and small, only 4200 Not big on the color choices, but, uh, you know, and take what you can get, that kind of thing. Yeah, that'll work. And yeah, we might as well just push that up to 9,000 liter capacity, so... That's you know, 6800 bucks. That's a bargain I can live with. Although I would like some bigger wheels on there. 7900 bucks. Perfect. And then I need some water transport. So here's a 2,000 liter water trailer. It's a nice little trailer. Should get the job done. I don't need to haul a lot, so I'm going to buy one of those. And then as far as animal transport was going, we were talking about, I did find a trailer the cattleman. I'm not going to buy it right now. I don't need it immediately, but this cattleman right here is going to haul 19 pigs at a time, and that is going to be perfect. So, let me haul this equipment back to the farm, and uh, I'll see you when I start working on the olive grove. Be right back. Well, I told you I'd find a job for this frutetto, and I think hauling manure is going to be the perfect one, even though it's raining. 
but we're farmers. We don't let a little rain get in our way. The first thing I want to need to do is start taking advantage of some of this piggy <laughs> piggy refuse. Piggy poop. A.K.A. manure. I need to get that loaded into my trailer. Hope I've got enough. I should have enough, right? Keep your fingers crossed. I chose poorly. There we go. And a couple more of those if we've got it. That's the real question. Do we have it? And we'll find out. Birds, stay out of the pig barn. There's nothing here for you. And it's kind of gross that you're wallowing around in poop. And man, pigs really crank out the manure, let me tell you. One job as a farmer I don't look forward to is cleaning up the poop. But hey, it's all part of the gig, right? Might as well grab the rest of it. can't say we don't keep our piggy barn clean. No way, Jose. Too used to driving tractors now. Driving this crab steering is just... Um, Troublesome. Get me off this wall. Thank you. Good God, Harv. Well, that was way harder than it needed to be, right? <laughs> yes. And my God, the rain today. I mean, we've seen no rain on Ischia. Ish and now all of a sudden it's just pouring and has been doing so for. 18 hours. You know, maybe it'll cool off the volcano. You know, Ischia is a volcanic island. Alright, well that's all the pig poop we can get our hands on for now. Hopefully that's enough. Keep our fingers crossed. Well, I guess I might as well pick up, clean up the pig food while I'm here. Tip that right back into the Super Feed 2000. Alright, there we go. Good enough. I am going to run this pig poop up to the, uh, up to my house, basically, to the olive grove up there and see if I can't rejuvenate these trees. I'll see you when I get up there because. This is a pretty darn slow tractor. Alright, here's that old olive grove that I've been talking about. Just in case, I'm going to clo close this fence. Or the gate, because I don't want it to be in my way. It's a little bit tight working through here. I'm going to see if I can't uh, get some fertilizer on these guys. That's a nice little trailer, though. It's perfect size for this tractor, so that should serve the farm really well, I think. 
There we go. Nice big pile of poop for you, Mr. Olive Tree. <laughs> and let's see here. One for you. Kind of of the opinion that if I can get some fertilizer on these guys, get some water on these guys, which it's raining, but that's not enough. I mean, like I said, it hasn't rained the whole time I've been here, and they're really going to need a lot of water to rejuvenate, I think. More than just a good rain, so we will get that sorted. There we go. I hope I have enough for everybody. This trailer's even color coordinated. Good Italian manufacturer too. Very nice, very nice indeed. Okay, perfect. Oh, come on, there you go. Now I left the water trailer down here in the farmyard area. And the manure trailer can go straight back down to the pigs, because I'll just keep filling it up from there, obviously. Here's our new little water trailer. And I do have a water spigot right here to fill this up with. Oh, that feels quick too. Nice, very nice. And yes, my grape harvester needs to be unloaded. We have seen enough grape harvest for quite some time and it's just going to keep coming. That's okay. Money is money. There we go. And look at that. One rejuvenated olive tree. Outstanding. I'm going to have to get a little bit closer. This trailer is a little bit squirrely. Oh, there we go. That's not bad because it's got a weird little twisty pivot on the front of it. Like a little swing axle kind of thing, which is going to make it particularly challenging when I need to back it up. But it is what it is. Sick of hearing that yet? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> This tractor does not exactly turn on a dime, though, let me tell you. And there's another olive tree sorted. And another olive tree sorted. And another olive tree sorted. No, like I said, backing that thing up is going to be nigh on impossible, so I will just swing back around like so. And just one more. There we go. One rejuvenated olive grove. Look at that. Man, I wish I had done that sooner, because, man, that looks really good. It'll be a nice drive-in now, you know. A little canopy of trees. I almost wish I'd found a different water trailer at this point, though. <laughs> this one's pretty squirt. You just, you, you, it's not very maneuverable. That's okay. We will make it work. Outstanding.
Look at that up there. That looks great. Now we've got the olives that the Van Horns wanted. We, uh, well, we'll have some. Those just got rejuvenated, so. Let's see, I'm just going to park up over here for now. Because I need to go grab my grapes. Are you guys sick of grape fields yet? Yeah, me too. <laughs> That's it's interesting though. It is new and and different. I like it. I do like it. Don't get me wrong. Don't you dare take off on me, buddy. He took off on me. All right. Well, where's the other harvest? Right down here. And you know what I've been thinking? Well, no, I can't because those fields aren't ready yet. I need to pick a field to put almond trees in. I'm not buying a special field just for that. I just need to find one that I can put olives in. Or, I'm sorry, almonds in. Make sure I'm thinking about that correctly. Uh, pallets. Yep, almond trees. Probably won't need more than one or two pallets of those because I'm not putting very much in. I'll tell you right now. I'm not putting much in at all. They just need some to feed their guests when they come for wine tastings. I sure hope they don't expect me to roast them. I think I'd draw the line at roasting almonds. <laughs> I'm a farmer, not a cook. Don't get me wrong, I can cook my butt off, but the point is, that's not what they pay me for. So, let's see here. Now, I want I really want to merge field 21 completely. So, I'm not going to cut anything away there. Maybe what I can do, actually, you know what I could do? I could put almonds right here in field 10, and that would be kind of a divider between these fields and then 11, 12, and 13. And 10 is ready to be planted. So, there's no problem there. All I need are the saplings. So I guess it's time for a trip to the store and to break out the planters because you know what? I can plant in the rain. Okay, so I went over to the shop. They loaded me up with a couple pallets of almonds. I'm going to load up this planter with almond saplings and we're gonna sort this out by God so let's see what I can do about a worker here we want this we want course generation on field 10 this might be a little bit I don't want to do headlands on this I want north and south Just like so. That looks pretty darn good. Just have to keep an eye on this guy and make sure that they um, don't run out of saplings. That's the plan. Alright, let's see here. Come on. That's a good position. Drive. Drive like the wind. Plant those almonds. I do want to see one more thing. Yep, that looks really good. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so what do we got? We've got a grape harvest going on that I need to go unload. I've got almonds going in, so they have no reason to complain. 
I've got many fields that need to be harvested, but this rain doesn't look like it's going to let up at all. I've got Mrs. Van Horn having Mr. Van Horn do her dirty work now because, never mind. And <clears throat> tons of work to do and only so much that can get done in the rain. So we can only do what we can do. It's been a busy day on East Kia Farm, but we do have olives. We have got olive trees working for us, so that is outstanding. Solved that little part of the problem pretty quickly and easily and found a use for our piggy poop. So there you have it. Well, I think because of the rain, that's going to be it for this episode of East Kia Farm. I sincerely appreciate you coming along for the ride. And until next time, take care.